what's going on out there in YouTube land? Man and Land Trucking. Uh, checking to give you another brief update what's going on with me. And uh, we're just gonna rock it out like that. Uh, my first load, I did 603 miles. Yeah. I must drove out my 11 hour clock on the first load, yeah. <laughs> um, this uh, basically count me taking a 30 minute break and fueling up at Prime Inc. The load was about 70,000 plus pounds, so we almost got up to the 80,000 pound mark. And um, basically the trucks are driving at 58 uh, miles an hour. And uh, what I did was, uh, after like the first two hours, my trainer let me put the truck on cruise control. If you keep hit the accelerate button, when it's on cruise control, you can get it up to 62. So yeah, that's how I got them 603 miles in, on the first day. Um, after that, we parked in like Ringo, Georgia. I think it's Ring, Ringo, Georgia or whatever. And then uh, the next morning, my trainer drove the last like 160 miles. Um, it was beautiful out on the road, man. I got to see mountains and all kind of trees and the beautiful skies and lakes and rivers and people out fishing on kayaks and on pontoon boats and all kind of crazy stuff. Just let you see how beautiful the world is that God created, man. It was lovely, like very lovely. Um, let's see what else. Uh, it wasn't too bad driving. I wasn't even really that scared. If you ever drove like the real huge truck for U-Haul, like the real huge U-Haul trucks or whatever, it's about like driving that, besides worrying about your trailer on turns, but other than that, as far as like keeping it in the road, it's like driving a big U-Haul truck. Um, I, went, I was shocked that I wasn't really scared or nervous or whatever. Um, the only scary part was we did go up a mountain. That wasn't bad, but on the way down, it had a 6% decline for like the next three miles, and that was pretty scary. The only reason it was scary, my trainer said, uh, I need you to do this and I need you to do it right. And <laughs> that's what scared me. He said, uh, I was in the seventh, uh, seventh gear trying to hold you know, the truck back from basically running off. He said, I want you to take the jake brake off, which is basically the engine brake. He said, I want you to take the jake brake off, upshift the eighth gear, and then put the jake brake, jake brake back on. And I need you to do this right. Talking about somebody was uh, never wanting to get a gear, hit a gear so bad. Like, yeah. It was kind of scary when he said that, but um, other than that, you see I'm still here. Of course I said a prayer before we left, and um, after that, when we got to the bottom of the mountain, of course I said another little prayer, so it wasn't too bad. That was the only really scary part. Uh, see what else. Uh, somebody asked about training pay and the meal tickets. With training pay, you get $200 every week or whatever. After you get your calm data card, that's when you start getting your $200. You should get that by that Thursday or Friday. Um, immediately that Friday at 5 o'clock, the $200 get posted to your account on the calm data card. And then after that, you'll get the $200 every week until you pass the CDL test, get your CDL license, and you're hired on with the company. That's when you start receiving your $700. With the meal tickets, with that packet you get when you first get here, it's going to have a meal card in it. Basically, um, you can spend four fifty on breakfast, seven dollars for lunch, and seven dollars for dinner. It don't sound like that much money, but the uh, food is priced different up here, so it's really enough money on it for you to eat decent. Um, a trick for some of the people: if you get put in the Ramada, you can eat breakfast over there for free. So if you get put in the Ramada, not campus in, but put in the Ramada, eat breakfast at the Ramada. Take your meal, you get it for free. Then after that, get up early enough, get after that, after you eat up the remodel, take your meal ticket and stuff over to campus in. They got like chips, fruits, a bit, uh, not a little bit of vegetable, fruit, cakes, um, cereal, milk, and all that other stuff. Go over there and buy that with your meal ticket. Take it back to your room and you can use it for snacks. And that's what I did the first day, couple days I was in the remodel. Um, so that's a treat if you get put in the remodel. If you get put in campus in, you can't do it. So also two campus in is a little bit worse than a remodel. 
um, with the second roommate I had that I told y'all about that passed the uh, CDL permit, I mean the CDL license. Um, we was in campus in. I call it the hood. Um, after you go there, you'll see why. Um, it ain't terrible, but it could be a little bit better. Um, I saw somebody asked about what you do with your shoes. Um, I only brought one pair of shoes. A lot of y'all not gonna be bringing a whole bunch of pair of shoes. Cut down on the smell. Buy shower to shower powders. Um, you know, I put it in my underwear, on my socks, in my socks and stuff like that. Just take some, spray it in your shoes, shake your shoes around good. You know, get it in your shoes real good, put it in your socks and everything like that. So you don't have to worry about the uh, scent coming from you. Um, also, two people asked about the business, my uh, farming and lawn care business. I have a website for it. Um, the website is currently down, I'm adding new crops and stuff on there. So the website is down. But uh, I do have a Facebook page for it. Like I said, I do do the farming and lawn care or whatever. If you're in South Carolina and you're interested about uh, some of my fruits and vegetables or the lawn care business, feel free to hit me up on here. I can teach you some information for you to check it out or whatever. Also, two uh, people that are afraid to ask me about certain questions on YouTube. If you want, I can shoot you my email address, my personal email or the business email address. Get me on there. Also, too, if you want to, you can add me on Facebook. Um, that would be uh, probably scrutinized a little bit. Um, it's certain material and stuff I don't want to be associated with. So uh, send me some info on YouTube or you can ask me for my email address and stuff. I'll probably check your page out first and see what all you got on there. And uh, if you seem good to go, I'll add you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you know now if you got all kind of drugs and you know liquor and drinking and all kind of crazy stuff on your page, I'm probably not going to add you. But uh, other than that, I don't see why, you know, no reason why I wouldn't add you. Hey, then you'll know my name. But uh, yeah, let's see what else we had. Oh, also too, you females, y'all should have told me about these shower gloves before now. I shot a video prior to this one about the showers. Um, me and my trainer basically just got feed, finished eating. Uh, he had all you can eat crab and catfish. I don't really eat scavengers like that, so I had all you can eat fish. So yeah, we feeling fat and thin right now. But you ladies should have been telling me about them shower gloves. It's a different type of clean with them shower gloves, though. Like I feel zestfully clean right now. Um, I'm probably gonna get rid of all my towels and start using just some shower gloves. Though. Like it's a different type of clean. Um, and that's basically all I really had to say. Um, talked to my old roommate today. I think he in back in Texas now. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, um, if you like the videos, like and subscribe. Please leave comments. You got any? Um, Ideas on videos I should shoot, um, ideas about topics I could talk about, please send them. Um, like I told y'all before, go check out other guys, other different uh, other pages or whatever. There's plenty of content out here on, on YouTube. You should be able to find somebody that can give you the content that you're looking for. And as always, you know the motto, man in the land trucking, all gas, no brakes, no days off. I don't know none of y'all guys' name. Well, I know a few of y'all name. Y'all don't know my name, so please keep me in your thoughts and prayers, and I definitely will keep y'all my thoughts and prayers. Good luck out there on the road. Everybody, please be safe.